recording is this night in the name of Jesus Shara Mazika Yatara Mazika Yadorozia in the name of Jesus we can just come on board and uh, uh, team up together in the presence of the Lord the Lord has been so gracious to us he has been so kind to us Jehovah God is so faithful him alone is so worthy as you come on board I do kindly share the word of God share the broadcast let us reach out to as many people as we can as you come on board kindly share the broadcast happy to see all of us let us reach out to as many people as we can in the presence of the lord hallelujah thank you holy spirit of god for giving us yet another moment to gather up on this altar as you come on board wailimo and all the others kindly share the broadcast wake somebody up i'm also sharing right here where i am seated let us wake people up. Let us tell them there is a word from the heart of God. Hallelujah. Lillian, as you come on board, wake the other people where you are. You know, you know, wake them up. I don't know what time it is in that country, but reach out to somebody by the grace of God. Amen. Let us remind as many people as we can uh, by the grace of God so that we are able uh, to reach out to as many people even as the Lord is going to enable us in the name of Jesus. I'm waiting for us. I am also sharing out. You can see I'm bowing down. I'm also sharing out the word, waking people up. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Mam Gashara, share the broadcast, reach out, share the word, Mam Borin, share the word to your broadcast, let us reach out to as many people as we can, by the grace of God, in the name of Jesus, share out the word of God, I can see we are sharing, share out the word of God, share out the word of God, share out the word of God, hallelujah. The Lord is faithful. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Good evening, Ma, uh, uh, woman of God. Liseho, God bless you. Thank you. Happy to see you. Uh, happy to see you. Share out the broadcast. Let us reach out to as many people as we can by the grace of God. Kind remind sharing out uh, the word of God to your platforms. Let us wake people up. Let us team up and let us share the word of God together by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I'm also doing that. Let us reach out. You know, we are in days where we need to keep on encouraging each other. We are in days where we have to keep on encouraging each other because uh, this time, uh, yes, God is faithful. Happy to see you, Eric Dim, uh, my brother, faithful God. Yes, our God is faithful, my brother. We can attest to that. Let us share the word of God. You are connected. Kaidre, don't change that dial. Remain there, my brother. Yes, happy uh, to see you. I'm always encouraged when I see my good brothers you know and encouraging me it's such a great honor to have faithful and good brothers who are able to understand who the lord has called you and they are able to give you a backup in the name of jesus i'm also sharing out let us reach out to as many people as we can by the grace of god and let us uh, be able to you know invite as many people as we can tonight by the grace of god hallelujah Father, we give you praise tonight. We worship and honor you. We adore you, everlasting Father. Thank you because you are faithful. You have given us more grace to you and more blessings. Thank you, my sister. You can just open up your mouth from wherever you're watching me. Just open up your mouth and begin loving on the Lord. Begin exalting him. Begin honoring the King of Kings in your life. Begin, you know, uh, glorifying his name. Him alone is one worthy him alone is mighty him alone is you know you know he is, is, a, is glorified in our midst he deserves all the worship he deserves all the honor he deserves all adoration in the mighty name of jesus and also so tonight father even as we gather on this altar my god we are taking charge of this altar this is a social media platform we are taking charge we are ruling and reigning my father as we are seated with the christ in heavenly praise 
places and Jehovah God we are declaring that your word is already sent ahead of us Jehovah your word is already healing us your word is already delivering us from any form of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus your word is already the right into our paths and our father and the lamb into our feet in the name of Jesus thank you father God because we have the backup of your kingdom we have the backup of my Jehovah of your victory the Bible says that Jesus overcame the world hallelujah and so we are operating on that platform of victory in the name of Jesus tonight we give it all to your presence everlasting father and we beseech you my God by your mercy that you may come and reign in our midst by your authority in the name of Jesus father we surrender father we surrender we surrender tonight we surrender tonight in the name of Jesus come and reign in our midst oh Lord my Jehovah some of us we have had very busy days my God everlasting father and we thank you king of all glory for the gift of life thank you for your preservation thank you for your mercies thank you for your goodness and faithfulness about father in the name of Jesus we give you praise for every hearer of your word tonight and even my God whenever this word is going to be shared out about father we decree everlasting Jehovah in the name of Jesus that your counsel will prevail upon our lives oh God and your will will be perfected in our generation and in this hour in the name of Jesus father may you mold us tonight my God these are seven days of prophetic revival let our hearts be revived let us be reminded of the season oh God let us be reminded of your purpose in our destinies oh God in the mighty name of Jesus father we give you praise we worship and honor you in the name of Jesus come and do that which you only can do this night because father God we are totally sold out to you in the name of Jesus thank you father take over my tongue Lord let me deliver your word as you have deposited it in my spirit that my God your church may be edified in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you father this night and we give you praise and exalt your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Amen. Thank you. To, uh, happy to see you, Eric Mugomisa and Kaidre share the broadcast. Uh, wake people up uh, in your county. Sorry, I'm sitting properly. Uh, wake people up in your county. Reach out uh, to the people that you are able to. Let us reach out to the people we are able to. So we began something yesterday. Wailimu Wainaina, happy to see my sister. Uh, we began on our first day yesterday and what we are doing is commanded of the Lord. I'm so grateful uh, by the messages I received. This word is being shared. Thank you, Moses Jeroge. Happy to see you. Happy New Year. <laughs> you know, um, uh, this word is also being aired in our YouTube uh, channel. So in case of anything, you can always get Get, uh, to our YouTube channel, our our Twitter, every social media platform that we have around the Word of God is being shared. There, all our gadgets are set, so we are uh, we are reaching out. Amen. Happy to see you to my uh, my sister. Uh, we are reaching out uh, to as many uh, places as we can by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So uh, we began something yesterday, and I want us to go back there in the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-one. Is there chapter? 41 and verse 10 I have my scripture read with me here so the Bible says fear not for I am with you God is with us and the Bible says be not dismayed for I am your God he is our father our source hallelujah I will strengthen you my concentration from yesterday as the Lord has uh, uh, you know uh, commanded me to come on board with this yes looking glorious woman of God as usual the glory of God is abundant amen and I'm prayed for my my king my husband is with me so uh he's online he's there he's a uh, <coughs> part of your fellowship <laughs> so somebody's watching over my soul too in the name of jesus so i will help you uh, that is my concentration and i will uphold you not only helping you but i will uphold you with my righteous right heart hallelujah happy to see the white niners family god bless you so much i appreciate pastor hannah for this divine connection now now listen we are in that moment we are in a, we are handling you know seven days thank you Winnie God bless you so much woman of God now we are we, we are we are we are handling um, uh, this
this matter in a season where God is causing us, you know, each one of us. And uh, this is not a guesswork. This, Hannah, this is not a, a guesswork. The same God who brought or who shut your orb, is the same God who has now brought you, Hannah, in, into his appointed time, is the same God who has brought you into his acceptable time. And this hour, thank you, Deborah Johnson, man of God, happy to see you. And uh, the same God that was is the same God that is, and the same God who are, who is going to be in your life tomorrow. So there is, a, you know, during the day today, you know, when, as I was meditating on the Word of God, you know, the Spirit of God kept reminding me, and He's reminding me the same set, the same statement. You know, the Spirit of God kept telling me, no, it is time now for the remnants of God's people to see the other side of God. Hallelujah. We know of a God who causes, you know, the Joseph to be betrayed by the brothers, hated by the brothers. You know, he's the same God because, you you know, we are still connected to him. We know of a God who has been taking us through, you know, very personal, you know, vigorous process of making. Hallelujah. Where you are not even able to share with anybody. You have lived a holy life you have tried to maintain you know the, 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 the you know the righteousness of God you know you have tried to do it all you have tried to obey the word of God happy to see you my my counselor Anastasia happy to see you now you know we have tried you know as I talk to us because I'm also there I told you yesterday the word of God is also ministering to me this is a new a, a new path all together for all of us and you know you have we have really tried and you know we have done all what we, we thought we were we, we were supposed to do and we are there now we are like God what else do I do I have prayed for this marriage things are not changing I have prayed for this business still I'm only able to make profit like other people and, and I told you yesterday we have entered into a season of spiritual uh, I mean a spiritual let me let me read for you that statement the spirit of God gave us yesterday spiritual transfers we have entered into a season of spiritual transfers hallelujah now the transaction that are taking place this hour you know uh, um, even uh, you know as God is commanding praises and people on our behalf you know you may not be fully involved like what is happening you know because that when the time of God has come the Bible says you know Solomon will tell you when the time of God has come he makes all things beautiful so what do we see when the time of God comes God is not even letting Joseph aware you know through a prophetic utterance you know my time now has come to bring into realization every dream that you had in your life you know God is not preparing Hannah. There was no prior preparation. She's just going to shiro like any other day. But what do we see? Now, this particular year, the target of heaven is on Hannah. Hallelujah. Now, God says, I am the one who shut the womb of this woman and I'm still the same God who has kept her this far. I'm the, still the same God who has maintained her. And because I am the source, I am an all-sufficient God. Now, it is time for this woman to see the other side of God. I hear the Spirit of God say, we are about to encounter God in a new way. Hallelujah. Some of us know God comes when I do one, two, three things. And because God has now come to remove his glory from our hands, he's now going to use his own very new formulas. Hallelujah. Not what we have, con no, we have pre preconceived you know, not, not to what we know, so that none of us, and Jerry happened to see Wainaina's family, uh, you know, that none of us will brag and say, it's because I prayed, it's because I gave a seed, it's because I fasted, hallelujah. Why is God giving you, and uh, Nehemiah, God, why is God gathering for you? You know, the right people in, in your season of assignment to accomplish the assignment that God has given you as a burden in your spirit, not because of your much labor, because, you know, it is a season of God for the worst of Jerusalem to be rebuilt. Hallelujah. So God has just had picked you Nehemiah as a vessel that he's going to use. Hallelujah. That's why you know, Mordecai is telling Esther, how do you know that God has taken you into the palace for a season like this? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So we are saying, we are, we all of us together. And that's why sometimes back I was telling you, we are all in a state of expectation. Hallelujah. Some of us are already in the labor world. You know, 
ready to behold their babies, what they have been waiting for. Joseph is, is about now just to appear before Pharaoh, and it is God who is dealing with the Pharaoh. Hallelujah. These are spiritual transfers, spiritual transaction, and spiritual transfers. Hallelujah. So what do we see is Joseph being summoned, you know, you know from, 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 from the prison. He is not even, he's not, he has not even been told, you know, what is, what is about him. You know, there is shaving here and changing of clothes. Hallelujah. So many things, things are happening. But spiritually, the transfer is already done. Ramazi Kayandolobozia. Hallelujah. We see the king handing over the signet to the life of Mordecai. You know, the same link that was in the heart, you know, of Haman when God finished with Haman. When, when the spiritual transfer was done. Hallelujah. The physical transfer is now being infected in the life of Mordecai. We are seeing when the, trans, uh, the spiritual transfer was done from Saul to David. God is now causing things happen in favor of, of David. And we are seeing even the, the very son who was supposed to be a heir in the life of, uh, of King Saul. Hallelujah. He comes and falls on the side of God. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Not because David prayed, but because David was in the appointed time of God. Hallelujah. Oh my God, Jonathan knew I'm the one who is supposed to follow my father. I'm the heir. You know, after my father, I am the heir. But what do we see? He's crossing over. Oh my God. And he's supporting that which God is supporting in this hour. Hallelujah. This is why we are saying in this hour of the purposes of God in our lives, my God, you know, we, we are going to see God command the spiritual transfers are already taking place. And I came to encourage us this particular night. You may not even be aware of what God is doing. I also don't know what God is doing as a prophet. I don't know. I'm releasing the word also to my life. Hallelujah. But one thing I know, even in my own personal life, even as I speak to you, there is some, there is a shift that has already taken place. Hallelujah. We are not we, we are not the way we were some days ago, some years ago. There is a shift. You can even feel it in the spiritual antenna. You can catch it. Hallelujah. Something has already shifted. Hallelujah. So can, can we align ourselves? Can we agree with God? Come on, somebody. You know, can, can we just, you know, can, can we just tell God, Father, you know, you know, it is all about you this time. You know, we, we don't have a life of our own. We don't have. Because why? The spiritual transfers are already taking place in the name of Jesus. So yesterday we saw God has now come. This is the bottom line of the matter. You can turn to your neighbor where you're watching me from and tell your neighbor, this is the bottom line of the matter. Heaven has a target on earth and we are the target of our father. We are the remnants of his people. God is searching out for his remnants. What God is doing this hour is not going to favor anybody. It is not going to favor the wicked. Actually from this hour, can I prepare you, particularly those who are in the nation of Kenya? I am about to send a message on Facebook. I'll just write a name. So when you see the name, you know what prophetess Regina is saying. Hallelujah. There will be no peace for the wicked. There will be no peace for the wicked. They tormented you in your business through powers of darkness. You know, they did whatever they did through demonic rings and demonic empowerment. I came to encourage us in these seven days. Uh, there is a, I mean, there is a spiritual transfer that is taking place. Hallelujah. Ramazi, Kayandolobozi, you may not even have heard, you know, what God is, is about to do in your life before. This is what Peter is saying. I, I, I mean, uh, you know, Paul is saying, hallelujah, you know, the things that you have not seen. Why? Peter will tell you, we are, uh, you know, a holy nation. We are a peculiar people. So these things, we have not even heard about them. We have not even seen them. They have not even entered into our hearts. The Bible says that these are the things that God has kept for those who love him. Hallelujah. We are the people. Hallelujah. Oh, so heaven is on us. You know, heaven is on your case. Heaven is on your, on your matter. Heaven is on your issue in the name of Jesus. So yesterday we said, you know, the word of God has already come. And this word, the word of God, we can see that in the book. We read that some days ago, you know, from Psalm 107. And we are seeing that word of God. You know, the word of, of God is bringing to us knowledge. You know, the word of God is bringing us into the now divine know-how. The word of God, what God, you know, you, you are hearing some very new things. You, 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 things you have never heard before. You know, God 
God is opening us, enlightening us by the power of his word. Why? Because now it is time for us to enter into his purposes as he preordained for each one of us. So the word of God is bringing us to the now divine know-how. Hallelujah. This one is not physical. It's not about the preconceived formulas and whatever we think we know. It's about the new thing that the Lord is doing in the name of Jesus Christ. So in this season, you know, it's about the remnants of God's people. It is the acceptable time. It is the, you know, the season of God with his people, for his people, by his people. Hallelujah. And it is all about him. Hallelujah. For him and in him. Are you getting what the Lord is saying? Hallelujah. So we, we, we are looking at a story for those who are joining. I'm happy to see you, Nimo Ediru. Now we are looking at a story in the book of John, chapter uh, chapter 5. And, and we said yesterday, anytime you saw Jesus appear somewhere, you know, anytime you saw Jesus appear somewhere, this is what was happening in heaven. We saw Jesus stopping. You know, the Spirit, the Spirit of God is taking me to that story before I, we come back to where we began yesterday. You know, what we saw, you know, a procession is, is following Jesus, you know, a great multitude. And we see a man who decided to see Jesus as he was. That is in Luke chapter 19, Zacchaeus, you know the story. And what do we see? We see Jesus stopping. When he got there, he stopped. Now, he did not need anybody to introduce him to Zacchaeus. He did not even need anybody, you know, to, 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 to tell him who Zacchaeus is. Okay, after that, people are complaining and they are wondering that he's gone to dine with a sinner. Hallelujah. Because why? Before God, God is his word. There is nothing we can hide from the word. Hallelujah. Jesus is the word. You know, hallelujah. Because Jesus and God, Jesus is saying, when you see me, you have seen the fathers. Hallelujah. So you are interacting with the word. God is his word. So there is no difference between the two. Hallelujah. So uh, we, we see, you know, Jesus is all-knowing. And the Bible says that God is all-sufficient. Hallelujah. In him, there is no deficiency of anything. You know, many other times, you know, we, we, we are coming from scenarios and from levels where we thought God can handle this and this one he cannot handle. Can I, can I remind us tonight, even as we continue, the Bible says that with God, all things are possible. And to us who are believers in him, all things are possible. Hallelujah. So number two, number two, it's, you know, yesterday we said where we have come into right now, you know, the faith that we need of this hour, you know, the victory that we need of this hour, everything that we need, the, you know, that the, Jesus is saying, and telling the disciples, I have overcome the world. So he's telling them, you are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. I have overcome the world. So what we are, what is going to give us the victory? What is going to cause us a joy? The spiritual transfers that are already taking place and get us to the destiny that God purpose for each one of us is much interaction with the word of God. Can I repeat something? The Spirit of God told us yesterday because he is, he's reminding me it is not time to concentrate on words are you hearing this it is time to concentrate and focus and be very keen and very alert on the word of god hallelujah so have that personal interaction with the word of God. Hallelujah. The words will come and say, you know, the world is this way. The doctor has said this. All those are words. Hallelujah. So our main interaction, and that's why Jesus is appearing at the, at the pool, you know, uh, to this man who was there for that eight years. He's appearing as one thing, a whole component. The, the word of God in wholeness, in totality. Hallelujah. And in that interaction, we see, you know, Jesus is commanding. The word is commanding. The word is coming for pick up your mat so we see the man is not coming with the preconceived formulas and uh, you know and, and 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 whatever you know and the knowledge you know because you know he was waiting for a man and he knew for you to get well here when you are seated beside this pool you know an angel has to come and start the water so jesus is not going that direction of stalling the water hallelujah jesus is releasing the word hallelujah and as the word you know as a, the man at the pool who was there for that eight years is interacting one-on-one -on -one with the word hallelujah we see the faith is built so when he's told pick up your mat and go he's not negotiating he's not complaining he's not asking questions something in him just causes him to arise and pick up the mat and go and if you read that story what follows after that because it was on a sabbath you know now 
and the religious guys are asking so many questions. What happened? What, what is happening? Why are you carrying this? Why are you doing this? And the man is saying, uh uh, uh uh, the man who healed me, I even don't want to know him. Hallelujah. Because he never even asked who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Told me to pick up my mat and go. And what I know is that I am okay. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So, Number two, number two, uh, from that story of the man at the pool, that is the, at the base of the seven days, you know, uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, it is a season, in this season, uh, you know, this season is a very special season, and it is just very special, you know, for God to favor his lemnas. Now, I'm going to show you, I'll traverse the Bible and show you what the Lord is saying. So number two, the season. Now, I want you to know that we are peculiar people according to the word of God. We are a holy nation. So our Father has brought us into a very special moment. And the foundation of this moment is year 2023. Hallelujah. And the beginning of the year, the beginning of the season was December, year 2022. Amen. So we are in a very special season. Hallelujah. Hannah has entered when the time of God has come. God causes Hannah to enter in a very special season. Ah, Rikai and Zia. When the acceptable time of God has come, when the appointed time of God has come in the life of Joseph, God causes Joseph to enter in into a very special season, a season that he never read from any book. Hallelujah. This one, I hear the Spirit of God say, this particular season for each one of us as of God's people. For now, according to how God, your father, you know, has worked with you, according to how your father has prepared you in the past few days, you know, for each one of us, this special season is going to be very special. I hear the Lord say, it is going to be so unique and so special for each one of us as individuals in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. You know, the, the season is so special. The season is so special. This is why we are seeing there are so many invited people, you know, beside the pool, you know, of Bethesda. But what do we see? God brings forth a very special season, you know, to this particular man who was there for that eight years. There are other people there with others, maybe even more serious sicknesses than him. Hallelujah. But heaven has targeted a particular man in a particular season. And God creates, oh my God, a very special your season in the life of this man. Hallelujah. I, I want you to see, you know, other people by the pool, they are very expectant. They are there because they are very expectant. Come on, somebody. Remnants of God's people, all of us are very expectant. But I want you to be very ready. Hallelujah. To enjoy this special season in your life as a special person, as a special son of God, not like any other people. You have no one to compare to. You have no one to compete with. Hallelujah. Each one of us is on their own list. Hallelujah. So when Joseph, your time comes, it is so unique. It is so special. Hallelujah. Oh my God. And what do we see? As we said yesterday, the Spirit of God was speaking to us yesterday. You know, when, when the special season has come, you know, what do we see? Like in the life of, uh, of Ruth, Hallelujah. It is favor after favor. Joseph, it is favor after favor. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Have you ever noted that Joseph is not struggling to marry in Egypt? Hallelujah. He's not struggling to marry. He's not even going to the mountain to ask God for the seed of his hoop. You know, you know, things are just happening. Favor after favor. Hallelujah. Have you ever noted that Joseph, you know, bought the entire land of Egypt and it became the property of of Pharaoh, that is God for you. You know, things were just aligning themselves in the favor of Joseph. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. Amen. So the season is special just to favor God's lemnant. So you are a part of the lemnant we said yesterday. We are the target of our father. So our father is saying, I have come now to help my people. That says the Lord. Hallelujah. I have now come to help my people. So now in this season, you know, God, it, it is God's season. I want you to know it is God's season. So what, what is happening to us, like Hannah, you know, the season of God has just fouled us. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We have just been fouled, you know, alive. 
and born again and ready for God in the season of God. God so, I mean, Hannah was ready to conceive. She was ready to be called a mother. So the season of God is coming to her life when she, she's so sad. She's very ready. Hallelujah. There is a prophetic word of God in your life. There is a dream, you know, that you have conceived in the Lord. So we are so expectant. You know, the season of this special season of God has found us very ready. Hallelujah. We are very ready like yesterday. Hallelujah. Thank you and Pauline, it is true, you are a part of the remnant. Hallelujah. So it is God's season and you know, these times are directed, you know, to a very specific people. You know, this season is directed to a very specific people. Hallelujah. That's why, can I prepare you, Father? That's why you are hearing things other people are not hearing. Hallelujah. That's why you are dreaming and seeing things and perceiving things that other people are not perceiving. You are not crazy. You are in that season. Hallelujah. That's why, you know, even where you are coming from, your process of making was not like your sisters and brothers. It was so unique. Hallelujah. Because God was preparing you for this particular special moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So this is a very special uh, season and, and that the special season is targeted by God for a very special people. Hallelujah. It is a, a very special season that God has brought, you know, uh, has brought out, you know, uh, you know, into the lives of these peculiar people. And we are those people. Hallelujah. You can read that for yourself in the book of 1 Peter 2 and 9. We know the scriptures. Hallelujah. So some examples in the Bible. You know, uh, we have so many examples in the Bible. And I said I'm going to traverse. I have too much. I'm going, but I'm never harassed with the time. I've been downloading when where I was doing whatever I was doing yesterday. I was just downloading the spirit and, you know, and, and putting some things together for us because we must be revived in this hour in the name of Jesus. Now, listen to this. Now, we have so many examples in the Bible. Can I, can I show you uh, some few stories in the Bible? If I don't finish, we shall pick it up from there tomorrow, even as we continue with the other, with the other, with the other part. Now, listen. Now, what, what Joseph is undergoing, you know, through the dreams, you know, through the dreams and, uh, you know, the whatever, you know, he's sharing with his brothers, you know, uh, listen to this. You know, it was all in the process of God. And why do we see, why do we know this? Now, listen to this. We see when the time and the season of God has come, God is using the same platform, you know, to bring forth the fulfillment of his purposes, you know, in the destiny of Joseph. So what do we see? God causes an entire, you know, I mean, a whole king, King Pharaoh to dream. So there is a connection. Joseph is about dream. This one is about dream. The same platform. Hallelujah. It's the same platform God is using for his, for the positioning of the for, of, 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 for bringing out, you know, the divine purpose in the life of Joseph. So we see nobody. That's where we are right now. Listen, God is commanding. I, I spoke about spiritual transfers. So God is commanding. People kindly share the broadcast. Jen Jurumba, I can see you. Share the broadcast. So God is causing Pharaoh to dream. And as Pharaoh is dreaming, in the past other years, maybe the magicians were able to handle his dreams. But in this appointed time of God, because we are in a season of spiritual transfers, the uh, the cano ricata ramazia the cano magicians cannot handle this so this one can only be handled by somebody who has an encounter with the spirit of god somebody who is a remnant of god's people somebody who does not sin against the lord their god hallelujah come on somebody you have stood for your faith in our company they have refused to give you promotion because you did not sleep with your bosses i came to say this time around the season is about spiritual transfers hallelujah Hallelujah. My God, some of the bosses are about to get into some situations and circumstances where somebody will say, we have a woman who prays in this company. We have a woman who can make a prayer. Hallelujah. You know, yesterday somebody gave me a testimony that really encouraged me. There was a wicked woman in the office where the man of God was working. And you know, when it's, it's a season of spiritual transfers, God causes these wicked people, you know, to go through things and situations and circumstances where they have to honor our God. Hallelujah. And that is the season we are in right now. So, kindly don't fight anybody. Just allow things to flow. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying? Just allow things to flow. Hallelujah. Now, in this 
company where the man of God was working, there was that wicked woman who had really, you know, done so many demonic things against the man of God. But one day, that woman fell sick, and the people in the company, in the fellowship where, you know, he was leading a fellowship in that company, you know, he told me the story, and he told me, you know, when this woman was admitted in the hospital, people bought him, you know, some fruits and requested him to go and see that woman and pray with that woman. Hallelujah. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm cutting the story short. You know, by the time the man of God is leaving that company or that employment, that woman says, oh my God, I have a pastor in this company. Hallelujah. There was a spiritual transfer, some spiritual transaction to an extent that when she bought a car, she drove it all the way and brought it to the man of God, dedicate my car. Now, the same God who has done such things before is about to do the same things when you are doing your business and the kingdom of darkness, you know, the, the wicked and the people who hate us with no cause. Hallelujah. They have been bragging because they seem to be breaking, they seem to be making it. Now, tables are turning and it is all about the operation of God. This one has nothing to do with us. You know, Joseph is just in the prison. He's just there. It was a day like any other. Hannah has gone to Shiloh a day like any other. Maybe she was used to once in a while to go into the house of God. Hallelujah. To pray. Oh my God. It was a day like any other. Spiritual transactions are taking place. God is commanding error. You cannot be silent again. Hallelujah. So God is fixing the wicked. God is fixing the wicked. You know the scripture says they are paying their, their, their riches or their wealth for the sake of the righteous. Now God is fixing them in those offices, in the entire world. God is fixing the wicked for the sake of the positioning of the righteous in Jesus' name. So we see nobody can interpret this. It's only Joseph who can handle this. So this is a divine platform for God's purposes to be fulfilled in the life of Joseph. So Joseph is not able to bring forth you know, the fulfillment of what he dreamt into, into reality. He's not able to bring it forth. You know, he's not able to cause things happen. He's just living like the way we are just living. You know, the way we are just, you just wake up and report your business. That is the way the season has found us. Hallelujah. But one thing there is, let me tell you, my brethren, there is a transfer that is already taking place. Hallelujah. So this one, God creates a divine platform, you know, for the sake of Joseph. And he causes, you know, his name to be made. God is commanding. God is, I've come to help my people. That is what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. So that's why I told you yesterday, whatever is supposed to go down will go down for our sake. Whatever is supposed to stumble will stumble for our sake. Hallelujah. It is a time for us to enjoy double for every trouble in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We shall not be termed as forsaken anymore. We shall be sought after. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself to be sought after, even in your family set up, even if they are very strong devil worshippers in our family, we shall be sought after. Why? Because God is causing my Jehovah, God is preparing through situations and circumstances. God is causing the wicked to go through situations and circumstances. Hallelujah for our sake. That's a part of the formula God is using in this hour in the name of Jesus. Amen. So God is at work. Mom, Jenny Gashara, God is at work. There's a lot of spiritual transfers that are taking place in the name of Jesus. So now what is the Lord saying? Let us be very careful of occurrences. God has come to help us. Can I, can I, can I admonish us, church? You know, uh, when I realized I have no part in the kingdom of darkness, you know, I have no part. We are sons of God. We are set apart. We are a special people. Ah, hallelujah. Oh my God. Even if somebody does not, you know, value you, you don't look nice to them, you don't look special to them, you are a special being to your father. Hallelujah. So, you know, be very careful of occurrences. Be very careful of occurrences around you. And many times we see the devil and we keep on rebuking the devil and we keep on, unless you have opened a loophole, you are a son of God. Hallelujah. So be very, very careful of occurrences around you. Be very, very careful about you know, you, your engagements. Are you seeing this? Be very, very careful about occurrences around you. 
God has come to help his people. And in this season where God is helping us and, you know, and lifting us or picking us or upholding us with his righteous heart, now we must be very, very careful. Be very careful. Be so discerning. Be very alert in your spirit because some of these uh, occurrences around us, you know, they could be the divine platforms that God is going to use, hallelujah, to cause us to become that which he purposed for our destinies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So be very careful about your engagement. Hallelujah. It is not business as usual. The man at the pool, this is not an, an engagement like any other person. You know, the visit of this man is not like the visit of any other man. Hallelujah. This man is not using the formula that is ordinary. He's not telling me to enter into the pool. He's not styling the water. You know what I'm used to. Hallelujah. So be very careful of your now engagement. Be very, very careful of your, you know, the occurrences around you right now. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We cannot miss it. We cannot miss it. And you know what the Lord was telling me today? You know, yesterday, it's already, uh, uh, the, the, a new day has broken forth in my continent. Now listen to this. Now the situations, you know, uh, the situations and conditions, situations and conditions, hallelujah, that has, you know, that had kept this man around the pool for so many years. Hallelujah. It was, you know, that, that being there, and then, let me now show you the people who are fighting demons and their demons are not in that situation you are going through. Hallelujah. It is God. It is a divine setup. Hallelujah. So that, that situation and that condition that Jesus knew, you know, this man has been around the pool for a very long time. Hallelujah. The Lord told me it was, you know, it, that man, you know, that condition, you know, it was a strategic placement. It was a strategic placement, hallelujah, for divine visitation, you know, in God's time and, uh, you know, in God's time, you know, and, uh, and season for the, for the visitation of this man. Are you seeing this? So th that condition and situation in this man, you know, that has kept him down for a very long time, it was a strategic posi I mean, positioning or placement in his life. So that, you know, heaven, when the time of God has come, you know, that heaven, the clock of heaven can easily locate him. The, the, the heaven GPS can easily locate him. Hallelujah. And be able to attend to him because it was in the appointed time of God and the acceptable time of God to be able to sort out his life with the permanency in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the people who are seeing the devil in situations and, and circumstances, the Lord, they say, you know, God. God is using, you know, situations. Can we, the Lord told me to come and tell us, can we desist complaining? Hallelujah. A man left you with three children, even if they are ten children. Your father had seen this. Actually, God had foreseen this and he knew you are the only one who can give birth to the ten children and be left by your husband. Hallelujah. Even if he has died. Hallelujah. God knew he's a father. There's nothing like confusion in his presence. Hallelujah. He is able to withhold matters and issues that they don't come our way. You know, hallelujah. Can you see the brothers of Joseph, they have sat down to eat the food he has brought them and they have thrown him in the pit. Oh my God. So the Ishmaelites come businessmen men come hallelujah and one of them is like uh -uh, let us remove him from here let us sell him now god will not have allowed the harm targeted to us from the kingdom of darkness to harm us this far that's why you are alive and breathing you are able to make your little coins by now hallelujah why listen to this we must desist complaining and murmuring over situations and circumstances we must desist and sons of God, and we must stop seeing the devil in whatever you know, whatever comes our way. Paul is clarifying this in the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 28. And he says, You know, and we know all things, hallelujah! Oh my god, you know, who, who did you want to be left with the two children or the three children? God knew, even after being left with those four children, you are, you are not going to forsake him, hallelujah! God knew, you have even after the monkey of Penina, God knew 
think I have a set time for Hannah. I have an appointed time for my daughter. Hallelujah. So God knew Hannah will not leave me. Hallelujah. God knew in Babylon, you know, God, because God is all-knowing, he's all-sufficient, he knew. You know, it, it, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, no matter what they go through in Babylon, they cannot forsake me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. God knew in Egypt, my God, whatever trial, whatever situation and circumstance that comes the way of Joseph, this young man cannot compromise my faith. He cannot lower the guard. God knows you. God knows us. Hallelujah. And that's why despite what you have gone through, you know, you have maintained the level of righteousness. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Women, we have not looked for shortcuts to pay for our bills. We are women of faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh my God. We educate the children by faith. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh, do I have a witness in the house of God tonight? Hallelujah. Men who are not bribing to get contracts, to have contracts or to have business, you know, openings. Hallelujah. Men who are studying and saying, we cannot sell our birthright we know we, we are able to wait on God, hallelujah, and we are able to hope in him, and we start by the word of God and say those who hope in the Lord will never be disappointed, even if it seems as if we have been disappointed according to the, you know, the kind of eyes my God, hallelujah, it may have seen, you know, seemed as if it was disappointment for Joseph, you know who has been faithfully serving you know, uh, Potiphar, to be next moment, next day, to be found, my God, in the same <laughs> yes, Wairimo, it is okay. Hallelujah. You know, to be found. God is, by the way, talk to me after this, Wairimo, I have your word. Hallelujah. We can talk tomorrow. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Now it is okay. You know, it is okay. You know, it, have, it may have seemed according to the kind of eyes, you know, as if Joseph was demoted, as if Joseph was now going through shame, you know, Daniel in the, Daniel in the pit of lions, you know, as if it is now demotion and what have you. But listen, that was a strategic positioning. Hallelujah. Prison was a strategic positioning, you know, or a, pro, a strategic placement, you know, for Joseph to be able to interact with the people. He would not have interacted without an appointment or bribing his way through. Hallelujah. So can we stop seeing the devil in everything? You know, in our engagement, in our situation and circumstances, can we begin seeing God? How would Prophetess Regina be preaching tonight if God never took me through what he has taken me through? If he never took me through the journey I have had in my personal life, hallelujah. How would I be having the courage to address the matters I am addressing even in this nation, I mean in this hour, in the nations of the world, hallelujah. Oh my God, hallelujah. Strategic positioning, strategic placement, and the, the appointed time of God and the season of God has showed us where God wanted to fight us. Hallelujah. There is nothing like an accident that you are in that nation. There is nothing like an accident that you are in that marriage. Hallelujah. And if it is an accident, God is going to deliver you because he has come to, 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 to help us. Hallelujah. Anywhere we are and it is not the will of God for his purposes, God has now come to help his people. Hallelujah. He will deliver us where, where we are supposed to be delivered. He will cut us off where we are supposed to be cut off. He will, ah, hallelujah, and do all those things. So can we desist complaining? Can we desist murmuring over situations and circumstances, you know, in this hour? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And can we begin seeing God? Hallelujah. In it. Can we see God? Can we stop seeing the devil? And can we begin seeing God? Hallelujah. Because, you know, we must stop giving devil our airtime. Hallelujah. You rebuke him even when he's not there. We must stop seeing what Jesus going through the process of the cross. It is not the devil. Hallelujah. Joseph being in the prison, it's not the devil. You know, uh, the man of the, that man at the pool, it was not the devil. It was a strategic position or placement of God. You know, because God knew at one point Jesus would pass there and notice this particular man with this particular condition because it was time, you know, the appointed time of God for, for heaven to set out the matter permanently for the the sake of this man in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Vashiti misbehaving, Vashiti misbehaving, you know, uh, you know, and being chased out of the palace 
it was such a divine season, a divine moment for Esther who is not even aware. Esther is not, that's why I'm talking about, uh, come on, I think I want to finish here now. You know, Esther is not even aware. Esther is just washing utensils in Mordecai's house because that is where her life is. Hallelujah. She's not even aware that she is misbehaving. She's not even aware the king has a party. She's not even aware of anything. Hallelujah. Nega, it is true, my brother. Hallelujah. She's not even aware. And some of us are not even aware. We don't, can you stop bothering about many things? Can we stop being anxious? Hallelujah. Our father is aware. This is his season for us. Hallelujah. Esther is not even aware about the, the spiritual transactions that are taking place. Vashiti is misbehaving. She's chased out of the palace. Hallelujah. The king is given an advice to get virgin girls. So Esther just finds herself there amidst the, uh, the virgin girls. But now that was a divine positioning, a divine placement, you know, a divine moment for Esther to become that which God purpose from the beginning in her destiny. Hallelujah. So situations, circumstances, and conditions, you know, let them not cause any one of us complain from this night. Can we begin seeing God? Can we begin to get, you know, the Spirit of God is taking me to the story of Samson. Remember that story? He killed the lion and when he was going back, you know, past there with the parents, he found something to eat. From the eater, there was something to eat. Hallelujah. From what was supposed to destroy us, I see a platform. Ah, what was supposed to destroy us I hear the Lord say I am creating a platform in those areas, you know, in those places where my people were supposed to be destroyed, where my people were supposed to be killed, hallelujah if they are waiting for our death oh my God, we are about to be positioned by God, my God how, how shameful it was in Egypt, my God, you know the same, the same Potiphar and the wife who threw Joseph in the, in, in the prison. Now Joseph becomes higher in authority than them in the same nation. Yet he is even a foreigner. Spiritual transactions. Hallelujah. Spiritual transfers. Hallelujah. That is it. Hallelujah. So what, what do I want to say this night? Our father is working things out. You may not see what he is doing, but I am sent by God in these seven days of revival to let you know that he has come to help you. Hallelujah. He has come to help you. So, you know, God, what is happening in a, through Vashiti and Vashiti being thrown out and the gathering of the girls, the virgin girls, this was just, you know, the beginning of a, of, of a season of favoring, you know, God's people. God had the target of so many other people. Esther becoming the, 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 the queen. God has an agenda of an entire nation. Hallelujah. Can you see what God is doing through Joseph? God has, that's why Joseph is telling the brothers, you meant it evil for me, but God, you know, had an agenda for an entire nation. It's not even about me. Hallelujah. It's about the generations after me in the name of Jesus. So we, we are the people bridging for the next generation. Hallelujah. We are cutting the cord between what never favored our people, our sisters and brothers, our children, husband and wives, you know, our companies, our nation, we are cutting those cords. And we are about to see that, you know, I see the flapping, you know, of the next page, of the next chapter in our generation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And this one, we are going to enjoy the power of God. We are going to enjoy the glory of God. We are going to enjoy the authority of God. Hallelujah. Because God has come to help his people. Hallelujah. So the eyes of God was focusing, you know, not just about Esther, not about Joseph, you know, but an entire nation. Hallelujah. So misbehaving and being rejected by God is because why, you know, God has a purpose for, for you know, the misbehaving of Saul and King Saul being rejected by God is because God has a purpose, a preordained purpose in the house of Jesse and not only to, not to everybody, not to all the sons of Jesse, but heaven had a target of one, one very special person called David. Hallelujah. And God prepared David by his own means. Hallelujah. It's just, I mean, David is not even aware of how God is rejecting Saul or how, how what has happened between, between Saul and uh, Prophet Samuel. David is not even aware. Hallelujah. And so many of us are not even aware. 
of what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. So as all this is happening, you know, David wasn't aware that God, God, God's focus was on him. God's target was on him. Hallelujah. Things, you know, are just happening and going on as God had just planned. Hallelujah. And, and the things just took, took course. You know, things are just, you know, taking course, you know, and taking the turn of God. Well, David is not even aware. Hallelujah. What we see is the positioning of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of David by God's own tra transactions and transfers. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. So what am I saying this particular night? I'm preparing us for divine eventualities. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Divine eventualities. This is what we are seeing at the pool. The man was not aware. Divine eventualities. Divine occurrences. Hallelujah. That are going to be so... Uh, and you see, I hear the Spirit of God say, even as I talk to us this particular night, Hallelujah. God is already preparing the ground of our hearts. God is already preparing the ground of your heart. So when you conceive like Elizabeth, you are go you're not going to be overexcited. If you are supposed to hide, you are going to hide. She's hiding for five months. You are going to hide. Ah, hallelujah. Oh my God. Are, are you seeing there is no overexcitement in the life of Esther? She, she's calm. You know, she's handling. She's not even overexcited to appear before the king. She's said, telling the person in charge of Helen, you know, whatever you want me to appear, how you want me to appear before the king is how I'm going to appear. There is no overexcitement. Hallelujah. God is coming us. God is giving us calm spirits. Hallelujah. God is giving us calm spirits. Oh my God. That when you own a jet, you not go bragging and you know and, and riding everywhere and showing now I'm the one who is saying here and this. And you know, when God anoints us and we are able to do the miraculous by the grace of God, you know, we are not going to brag around. Hallelujah. We know it is all about God. We are God's and it is all about Him for Him and by him hallelujah joseph cannot even revenge to the brothers he knows it's about god hallelujah oh my god hey, for those who are in kenya we are saying to meiva hallelujah we are fully cooked in the spirit <laughs> we cannot be served to the nations hallelujah by the grace of god listen to this penina continuum mokare you know uh, you know uh, to hannah had nothing to do with the devil. This one has nothing to do with the devil. Because why? It is God who had shut the womb of, of, of Hannah. So whatever Penina is doing has nothing to do with the devil. It's not the devil there. Hallelujah. This was just, you know, in the purpose of God. It was in the purpose of God, you know, for, for this woman, you know, you know, at the end of the day, for the purposes of God to be fulfilled in her life. What do we see? Penina had children, but what is about to come in the life of Hannah is a higher magnitude. Hallelujah. She's giving birth to a prophet to nations. A higher magnitude. One birth knocked down Penina with all the children she had. Ah, hallelujah. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. And I hear the spell of God say, it's got to be a knocking down of the people who thought now you are not born again. I, I know of a mockery of a certain relatives of a certain sister you know she tries to preach to them and they are like uh -uh, can you first of all tell your god to get you to the levels he has gotten us because our god is doing one two three this but the god you pray every day the god you talk to every day does nothing to you hallelujah listen we are saying like shadrach meshach and abednego even if he does not do whatever you want to see physically we shall still serve him we shall still love him hallelujah but all of us are still in uh, uh you know we have entered into that moment where God has now come to help us. Hallelujah. So the heart of God is already outstretched. Hallelujah. So it's just a matter of time. You may not even know the purpose of God you know, for your life. You may not even be aware. You may not even have had a prophetic word. But the heart of God is already outstretched to help his people in the world. Hallelujah. And which God am I talking about? I am talking about El Shaddai. You know, the all-sufficient God. He is able to visit you in your nation. He is able to have pick me in my nation. He is able to visit you in your bedroom. He is able to do whatever, even 
even if it is, you know, even if it, the hand of God is supposed to pick you up, hallelujah, to baduki, yes, you know, to do whatever operation he's supposed to do. C can you see in the Bible, the way God is traversing through the destinies of his people, hallelujah, are, are you seeing Jesus in a, in, in Bethany, are, are you seeing Jesus, you know, by the gate of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of Jericho, are, are you seeing, you know, Jesus traversing here and there and doing one, two, threes and accomplishing, because why, if heaven has targeted you, no matter where you are, things will be aligned to the purposes of God. Hallelujah. And as long as this season has found you born again, then we are the target of people. So what is happening to Penina, uh, I mean to Hannah, you know, what is what Penina is doing is causing this woman, is keeping Hannah, you know, on her, on her toes, you know, to be able to go into the temple and, and talk to God. Hallelujah. It was all in the plans. There was no devil here. That's why we don't see Hannah rebuking the devil in the life of Penina. There was no devil here. Hallelujah. It was all in the purposes and the plans of God. That's why the Bible says it is God who shut, you know, the womb of Hannah. Hallelujah. Because God knew when I come in my appointed time, when I come in my set time, you know, Hannah will enjoy the other chapter of, 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 of me. Hannah will see God and enjoy God in a new face altogether. Hallelujah. And this one will knock down Penina permanently. And this is what we are seeing in the Bible. That was a knockdown in the life of Penina. To date, we don't see here the mention of Penina. Hallelujah. Unless when we are reading the scriptures here and there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So, now listen, the situation that seemed as a, as a delay in the heart of Penina, it was the heart of God at work. It was the heart of God at work to bring forth a vessel of honor through Hannah. Hallelujah. What do you think is a delay? There is something honorable the Lord is about to bring forth. Ah, shalama zika yandorobo zia. There is something honorable. We see some a honorable vessel, a prophet to nations is coming through the oob of Hannah. Hallelujah. And other sons are following. Oh my God. It is all in the purpose and the plan of God, you know, for, for, for Hannah and for the entire nation of Israel. So God has an agenda. You know, whatever seemed to be a dray, you know, Hannah going through Mokari. It was in the target of God, the, the purpose of God. You know, it was, you know, God knew I'm bringing Hannah. Hannah is special to me. So I'm going to bring her into a very special season, a very special moment. And the things I'm going to do, hallelujah, you know, is because I have her welfare in my heart and I have the nation of Israel. Because why? What do we see? Can we see what, how, you know, uh, Prophet Samuel is, is helping the nation of Israel? Can we see Hallelujah. That is God for you. Hallelujah. So can we stop seeing the devil in situations and circumstances from this night? Can you begin seeing God? Ah, <sighs> hallelujah. Can we see, can we begin seeing God? The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, when the King Uriah died, the prophet of God saw God. Hallelujah. So that situation, you know, even if, you know, the prophet mourned, the king, but it was for his good. Hallelujah. And that's why yesterday, I want to finish there. My time is up. That's why God spoke to us yesterday and he said, whatever is supposed to die will die. Even if you fast and pray, it will die. Whatever is supposed to be uprooted will be uprooted. Whatever is supposed to be torn down, it will be torn down. Whatever is supposed to be overthrown will be overthrown this hour. Hallelujah. Haman has to go through his own process. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Even if you fasted about it, God is already at work. You know, if uh, Pharaoh and if Pharaoh and his choices, troops, you know, you know, his mind and mentality and all those with the superiority compress and with his choices, troop, my God, they have to perish in the Red Sea for the children of Israel. Hallelujah to cross over. You know, can we allow God? Can we allow God? Can we allow God? Prophetess, what are you saying? Can we allow God? Hallelujah. So some people have to be demoted. Others must resign. Hallelujah. They may, they may be young. But they have, they have, they have maintained their jobs, you know, and they got their promotion, even their employment through wickedness. Now there will be no peace for the wicked. The, the Bible says the wicked lands away, even when there is no one chasing them. Hallelujah! Can we allow God? Can we run away so that you can sit in your office, so that you can get your promotion later? <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
in the name of Jesus. So when the king Hulia dies, you know, Isaiah is able to see God. And what do we see after that? There is the purging process. You know, Isaiah realizes, uh -uh, I, I, I have been living, you know, as a man amid, amid this, you know, wicked people. Hallelujah. My tongue is not okay. So there's, there's a season of purging. And remember, we are coming from there, you know, self-sanctification, self, self uh, you know, self-purification. You know, this is where we are. God is, you know, working on us individually so that we can attain the full stature of the Son of God. Hallelujah. So ours is to cooperate with the Lord. So as we interact, number one, we said yesterday, as we interact with the Word of God, can we allow this Word to work on us? You know, it is, you know, like a two-edged sword. Can we allow the Word of God to pierce our hearts? To separate the bone and the marrow, whatever the word of God is supposed to do now, hallelujah, so that now we can fit in and be able to now to get to the destiny that God ordained for us. We see at the pool, Jesus is just telling this man, uh -uh, whatever you are telling me to me is not necessary. Pick up your mat and leave. Now, uh, pick up your mat and leave, or pick up your mat and go. This man is not telling Jesus, you know, you have not started the water. You know, I have to, you know, can you can we wait for the angel now from nowhere? This man is not asking Jesus questions. This man is not negotiating with Jesus. This man is not complaining. This man is not, uh -uh. at the end of the day, what do we see? He picks up his mat. And one thing that is surprising, in the book of Acts chapter 3, we see Peter helping that lame man. Jesus is not helping this man. Because why? My word is all sufficient. Hallelujah. When you interact with the word, Jesus is a word. When you interact, when you obey, hallelujah, that personal interaction, the faith that you're supposed to have concerning a matter will come forth. The deliverance that you're supposed to, to, to go through as a person will come forth. Hallelujah. And I want to finish by saying there are some divine operations that God will take us through even in our dreams and in our visions that no preacher in the world can take you through. Hallelujah. So when, when you hear the Lord take you through your own process, yo, I know, take you through a journey in the spirit, like what we are seeing in Ezekiel chapter that seven, the Bible says, and the spirit of God took me high in a valley of dry bones. Hallelujah. Some of us will be taken to Australia and you coordinate things in the spirit. Hallelujah. Others will fly like Philip in the spirit. They go and minister and come back to the nation without visa, without nothing. Hallelujah. We shall be spiritually translated in a spiritual transfer or spiritual transfer. Anything is possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing there is, is that nobody can stand on our way to the purposes of God in this hour. God has created everything that is a stubborn block for Joseph to become. God has created everything for Esther and Mordecai to become. God has created everything for, for, for Daniel in Babylon, you know, to become that which God has ordained. God is clearing. Hallelujah. God is clearing everything that could be a stubborn block. I know that could be, you know, a, a hindrance. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in our walk of faith. Hallelujah. So can we allow God? Can we allow God? Hallelujah. Yes. I have come to help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right heart. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, my brethren, as long as God is upholding us with right, his righteous right heart, God bless you, man of God, for impacting us. God bless you. I'm so humbled. Now, thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. When God has uphold you with his righteous right heart, nobody can access you. Hallelujah. Kindly avoid creating any loophole of the devil to access your life. Right now, my brethren, I know what I'm feeling where I'm seated. We are so shielded. What is surrounding us is the fire of the spirit. What is speaking better things is the blood of the Lamb of God. Devil cannot access us unless you open a door for him. We are so shut in. Hallelujah. For God to glorify himself, you know, with our destinies in this hour. In the name of Jesus. Their, their witchcraft cannot work anymore. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Their sorcery cannot work anymore. Hallelujah. Their, their prayers, you know, against your destiny, their wishes cannot work against your life anymore. That season is over. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow by the grace of God. Shalom.